escalations. So we'll just rename sample escalation. You have to click here. Then see, already they have defined some criteria. If account billing country equals to US and all that, uh, and account SLA equals platinum and case priority equals to high. Two entries. Then account billing country, it's a complicated criteria and priority equals to medium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We will actually create a new one, probably instead of going with this much. Not rule criteria, we will create the escalation rule. Sort order, suppose for this sequence it is one, okay, and then field, suppose country, if it is country only, generally it happens like the license type of a customer and all that, okay, we will check those fields, which exact fields are those, these were already on that standard one, but here I will just show you. Case number one or closed. Description, case type, subject, status. SLA violation is also there. Basically, yes. Okay. Suppose SLA violation is already done. Okay. Equals SLA violation. Then ignore business hours. <coughs> Specify how escalation times are set based on when the case is created so now when you want to count the times for so this is basically criteria section you can actually even define some complex formulas here using different formula functions here case this is a br insert html break tag blank value begins apps and there are different functions date time function logical function mathematical text and advanced functions so you can use these functions in this formula editor but we are just for now we are going with criteria and specify the business apps criteria for this escalation rules. So you want actually some ignore business rule or business hours specified on a case. So either consider those or you want to set your own business hours. So in a company information and setup section we have seen the business hours. You can actually create there. Right? The default one is already there. So you can use this one or you can create your different business hours as per your country's uh, findings. Okay, and uh, based on when the case is created or based on when the case is created and, and disabled after the case is first modified. Then based on last modification time of the case. So you want to consider that escalation uh, time zone like when it started from the case created will keep it case created. Ignore business, will keep the use business R specified case. Uh, and SLA violation, yes. escalation action age over suppose minimum is 30 minutes I think you have to give it is it this is one hour after the hour this is basically the number of hours after which the case should be escalated if it has not been closed so it is one one hour auto or auto assign case to no you don't have to select the user to notify. You don't have to auto assign notify case owner. Case 
case escalated notification okay and you can actually notify case owner as well you can even uh, do that uh, say for example escalation queue is already there suppose uh, you can define queues first escalation queues and then you can assign it to uh, escalation say for example once the case is created after one hour if it satisfied the criteria what we have put what we have put is uh, if uh, the SLA violation is already there it says that drop down says yes and uh, one more uh, one more criteria we have put if those criteria on case are satisfied from there one hour after so if it is not resolved then uh, it will be auto assigned to one particular queue suppose sample queue okay and you want other users also to be notified case escalated notification reassignment Right, reassignment email will send it to this queue so one hour and zero minutes okay again okay, SLA violation just one condition we have put so now if you see we'll just keep one case ready <coughs> SLA violation that uh, yeah this one is here so status is suppose working new only case okay, so origin suppose phone contact name suppose chuti type of a case anything case reason anything sla violation yes suppose it violated the case and subject test escalation okay relation one okay then Assign using active assignment rules, you can do this, okay, and send notification email to contact, meaning Jyoti's contact email ID, uh, the email will be sent to. If you save this now, and uh, if you leave, leave it for one hour after time creation, you will automatically get the case history, that escalation history, uh, that information in it. So we'll just leave it and close it. When we open the, uh, up, uh, connect again in next class, then we'll show you the escalation related details so basically this was feed information right log a call change status and all now I'm on detail see solutions activity history one activity is created and here in case history simple case is created now the escalation is not yet there oh, why it is not coming as detailed layout it's not allowing me to change the layout case history is already there we'll just check a history tracking probably it's already there case owner changed see violation priority Save. if you go back to the case I just a self field tracking uh, field history tracking okay so this is just now one activity happened right case is created okay the other one escalated and all that this field is there on escalated silly violation yes this is our triggering criteria already which is started I mean time count started edit layout I'll just keep that escalation field checkbox okay so it is as of now it, it will show you no okay but uh, right after one hour of that it is unchecked okay right after one hour it will show you here 
the case is escalated to and all that steps change owner and all uh, owner will be Runa L now but it will be now changed to Q because I think uh, as per our criteria we are assigned it to Q and escalated checkbox will be checked as yes now I mean checked as yes it is escalated okay and this modification will happen right after one hour 